Americans tell us that the most important problem facing the country today, jobs and unemployment. Here at Gallup, we measure the employment situation in a number of different ways, but one of those is our job creation index, based on asking workers whether their place of employment is hiring or firing workers, and then we net out the two, and that's our job creation index. Let me share with you some interesting insights on what we're finding relating to job creation. First of all, we recently aggregated all of our data on job creation from 2020 and ranked it according to whether or not it was high or low across all 50 states. Let's share with you now the top 10 states in terms of job creation. These are the states where the residents tell us their companies are hiring rather than firing, the highest on that list. First of all, North Dakota at the top of the list, plus 29, look at that. North Dakota is followed by District of Columbia, where I'm standing right now. Then South Dakota, Alaska, Arkansas, West Virginia, Maryland, Texas, Oklahoma, Iowa, and Pennsylvania. My colleague Dennis Jacoby looked at these states carefully and came up with the conclusion that they all seem to share three things in common. They are either energy related, commodity related, that is farming like Iowa, or related to the federal government. That would be the District of Columbia and Maryland. Point number two, job creation for the nation as a whole is looking better than it has been. For February, the job creation index that we calculate here at Gallup is at plus 12. And that's by a point or two, as high as we have seen it in two and a half years. Point three, I mentioned that the District of Columbia and Maryland were high last year in terms of job creation because the federal government was doing so well in terms of hiring. Well, I think the bloom may be off that rose. Look at these data in front of you. As recently as last October, the job creation index among federal employees was considerably higher than the job creation index for all workers. In other words, the federal government was hiring more than all workers put together or all companies put together across the country. Now, in February, look at the flip. All of a sudden, the job creation index among federal employees is down from 17 last October to one right now, and it is now lower than the nation as a whole. So it no longer appears that the federal government is the place to be when it comes to hiring and the creation of new jobs. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup's Editor-in-Chief.